Hey there, welcome to this wonderful tarot reading. I'm Cerise and I'm so happy that you're joining me. A lot of us are wondering about Harry and Meghan. Will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle last in their relationship? What is their relationship really like? And all the ins and outs. So let's get to it. First, I'm going to pull a card on Harry's personality before he met Meghan. Ah, okay. So we all know that, you know, he was a man in limbo. He was always hanging out in the kind of background, even though he was one of the most famous royals, and he still is. He always felt like he was a little bit different. He felt like he was missing his mom more than anyone. And it was very hard for him to adjust. He was always thinking about the past, present, and future. And that's how he was before he met Megan. He was looking for someone that could love him, hold him, take care of him, and he could do the same with. After losing his mother, he really catapulted into a depression and it was not good for him. And it lasted and lasted through many relationships, many friendships. But once he met Megan, things started to change. Now let's pull a card on Megan, how her personality was before she met Harry. Oh, all right. So she was quite the opposite of him. She had everything going on. She was very sure about her future, especially when it came to the show Suits. She was not quitting the show because they were thinking about letting her go. Absolutely not. She was in the prime of acting. She let her entire life go. But before she met him, she was very comfortable. All the desires of her heart was coming true and her friends, her family, she had a lot of support and a lot of love from people around the world. The Empress represents someone who's really comfortable in the harmony, love, pregnancy, all of it is what she wanted. That's what she was building towards. She was not looking to quit her career when she met him, but she definitely was open to marriage and children. Now we will pull this card on Harry since he met Megan. Now he's in a much stronger position. His mind feels stronger. He feels like he has someone that's in his corner. He felt and feels right now that he has someone in his corner. He still feels very sad. He feels two-faced about it. He's not quite sure how to heal because of all the pain, but she is an enabler. So she helps him to focus on his pain, but at the same time, she helps him to focus getting healing and also counseling. Let's pull a single card on Megan now since she has been with Prince Harry. Well, she feels balanced. She feels like he is a fair husband, a good father, a loving husband, somebody who she knows will help to keep her aligned. He's very intelligent. He does speak to her often and makes her feel like everything's going to be all right. Especially in a time like now when, you know, they had that Oprah Winfrey special and they came out and they just came out punching everyone. The world was quite hard on her after that, but he was in her corner and she was in his. He brought balance to her and he still does. This is also a card about a woman that wants to make corrections to things that are wrong. She wants to bring truth out from behind the scenes of the negativity that she experienced when she was in the castle. This is a person that feels like she can bring out the truth and be honored for it. She doesn't want to cut corners. She doesn't want to keep things in the dark. She really wants to share her truth. Now let's pull some cards on their relationship. Let's pull a card on the past when they first met. Also, the current position and the future. So these two look like they're going to have a long lasting loving affair.
Yes, yeah, so in the past, both of them brought peace to each other's minds. She was the type of person, Megan, to be able to listen and really take in the pain of the past when it comes to Harry and his mother. Harry felt like he was displaced. He didn't fit in with his family, but when he spoke to Megan, she offered a different type of stability and security for him. Now let's go to the present, the middle card. The middle card, wow. They are something else. They have a very strong relationship. They help each other out very much. He encourages her. She encourages him. It's like the two of them against the world. Soon, he's going to be going to the through a lot of changes. He's doing a lot of counseling. He doesn't know why his family has ostracized him. He feels that he's helping his family, but his family feels like they just need to be left alone. He's young right now, and he doesn't realize that everything comes in its due timing. Nothing is perfect in any family. It doesn't matter if you are royal. It doesn't matter if you are from the hood. There's always going to be some type of issue. And he's in the midst of learning that right now. But what's keeping him strong is the relationship with his wife. He's really enjoying her and the children. The two of them will overcome the current situation and they will do very well. As a matter of fact, even though Megan's book was not very good, uh, well, I'm not saying it wasn't very good. It was good, but it wasn't received well by readers. That doesn't mean much. It does mean that she will do something again and she will get back on her horse and after maternity leave, I don't know what she's leaving from, <laughs> but after maternity leave, she will get back on her grind and do what she has to do in order to make her husband and her children proud. And the final card looks like they're going to be together for a long time. These two truly love each other. They understand each other. And even though Megan may come off as a narcissist to many people around the world, she's nothing close to that when it comes to Harry. When it comes to Harry, she is completely in love with her husband, treats him like the king that he would have been, if his brother wasn't first in line and she makes him feel like he is special like he's the only one she's ever loved so it looks like these two are going to have a long lasting relationship let's see what happens all righty guys thank you so much for joining me my name is cerise you can find me on instagram at cerise underscore fairfax let me know what videos you would like me to do thank you so much for joining me Thank you for subscribing and taking the time to like this video.